The video you're getting ready to watch is me working with a two-year-old that actually has been ridden and, and doing pretty well, but the colt got into a, a, a troubled spot uh, the last time I rode him and got really bothered by who knows what. <laughs> Invisible ghost was there. So what you're seeing is me using some feed sacks that I've got tied to the saddle there to represent uh, a likeness of what he got troubled by. And I want to, you're going to see me in, in real time work through the situation in this work to help this horse get comfortable so he can go on and be a, the good riding horse that he will be. He's got to come through this spot though because if, it, if I just ignore it and, and hope it goes away, it's always going to be present and then sometime, somewhere, he'll get in a situation and that will trigger in his mind and then I'll be on a tornado and I don't want to put myself or anybody else that might want to ride this horse in that situation. So that's what you're going to see. It is, it is a real world experience and, and this colt gets troubled in it and, and goes through quite a bit, but he comes through and has a good finish. So hope you enjoy watching the video. This colt had, had gotten scared uh, and uh, got real troubled about things down low. So I've been putting these sacks on him and letting him just wear these sacks. And he's not, he's not as relaxed as I would like to see him even right at the moment. So I'm gonna just let him move around here a little bit, let him travel just a little bit so he can hear those bags rattling and they're they're kind of moving on see him just looking back at him he's he's more troubled by that than he should be and even though he's not just fleeing from them he's too concerned about them he's he's had them on quite a while today so they should be just just a part of his clothing see him pushing away from that Let him work it out here. Let him work it out. He's now looking to the left a little bit. The reason that I was raised up there is because he was looking out of his right eye, running off to the left. And he would, he would run over me if I didn't make some noise there. I need him to look to the left. Quit worrying about that one to the right. Need him to look left while he's traveling around here. Bumping on his nose a little bit to get him to look around here. I'm gonna see if I can move his hind end away. You got to be real careful right there because if he looks back over that right eye, <laughs> I'm right in the line of line of fire here. I'm going to send him off. Send him off. There we go. Send him up in there a little bit. Let him get comfortable with those things, no matter what's going on. I was going to try to let it be really easy this evening, but he got too troubled by it. So he didn't give me any choice but to stay there with it until he wasn't troubled by it. Let's see if we can get him to walk here now. Here we go. Very good. 
Now see, he, he took himself through a spot of pressure. He took himself through a spot where he can mentally relax. I'm using this flag to be able to reach out and reassure him that everything is okay. Everything's okay. He chose to stop, so I'm gonna let him stop right there. Let him just sit here. I'm gonna send him back into the direction that, that he does not like to go. Very good. He came through there, he thought his way through. He did not panic. He stayed relaxed, so I'm just gonna go real easy here. Now he's, he's braced up right there, looking back over his right shoulder again. I need to be careful here. Looking the wrong way. Too troubled about that right bag. I'm gonna turn him back to the right. Very good. I'm gonna start moving his hind end around here. Now he's coming in his mind towards that bag. This is a confidence building situation in a situation like this. I'm gonna bring him on through and have him step in towards it. Let him stay relaxed. <clears throat> These are familiar things to him. So I'm coming back to the groundwork that he knows. Yeah, back. Let him work through this. Let him just find his way into there. There we go. Regain his composure. Now let's go on. Very good, very good. Let him have a little more room away so he can travel on a little bigger circle. Let him just, with his feet moving, find a way to get comfortable with that thing over there. Send him around here. Let him wear that pressure. Get around there. Now the reason that I increased the energy there was to get his 
attention on me and off of those bags. And when he gave his attention to me, then I eased up. Let him walk on here. Walk on. See, it, it won't do me any good to just prepare him to a standstill. This horse has got, got to get comfortable with his feet moving and just ignoring those bags. They're not hurting him, but he thinks they're going to hurt him, and that's the problem. There's a good attitude. Let's get him stopped right there. Let him fill up with air. Let him think about what's going on. Now I'll turn him back this way. Very good. Mm. Very good. Mm. Mm. That's a good quitting place. He worked through quite a bit there tonight. So the best reward I can give him is to just take him over here and take him out of these things and turn him loose. Um, you gotta be very cautious when you're working with one like this because if they look back and get scared by them bags, you're nothing, You'll, they'll just run right over you. Now taking those bags off requires some thought as well. Because if I just blunder up there and start ripping them off without giving this colt a chance to be okay, he'll be justified in being bothered by them. So I need to take them off in a way, if I can. He recognizes that my movement around here is going to help him he's looking over his left eye or out of his left eye right now not paying any attention to me okay now i'm going to just pull that i've got back far enough away from him i'm going to pull it up there and let it set there Pull it up there and let it set there. Now I'm going to use it like a brush. I'm going to pet this horse with this thing that he was so bothered by. And let him know that this thing is no, no threat to him at all. The only threat he had was the attitude that he had about it. And the quicker that he gets quiet and accepts it, Better things are going to be for him. I'm in a blind spot here with it. And I've got to watch his eye. And I've got to watch what's going on with him. And I've got to reassure him. And everything's all right. I'm, I'm going to stay here a minute. I'd like for him to take a step forward. Now then, while I'm sitting here petting him with this, I'd like for him to take a deep breath and lower his head just a little bit and get a look in his eye that's a little more comfortable. So I'm going to just come up here right beside him. Now I've got my hand on him as well. But he's looking around, he's still got a real trouble look in his eye. And I'm waiting for this horse to give me a sign. His head will come down a little bit, see his ears working back and forth. He's, he's really on high alert. There's a change right there. His eyes soften. 
and blinked. His head came down. He softened up quite a bit right there. He's got a much more pleasant look in his eye now. It's still not as good as, it, as it's gonna get, but it, it's not that, that look of terror. Just sitting here. Letting him hear me take deep breaths. Let this colt come down. Some some horses will get real, real anxious and they get up and they don't know how to relax themselves. It's like a, a person that, that's uh, overly anxious. They don't know how to come down. There he's licking down, relaxing. Just call that good. any horse but especially on one that's been a little bit troubled I want to be sure to take that back cinch off first because if I take the front one off first <laughs> and leave the back one on and he jumps then I get my saddle tore up underneath him and then I leave him in a mental state of mind that that will be very difficult to fix so I'm take a lot more precautions on one that's having a little bit of issue with anxiety be a little smoother, be a little more deliberate, pay more attention. If I can keep my hand on him, see, that's gonna help him. He, he can feel me come around the back of him and then it, it's not as apt to scare him when I just arrive on the other side. See him relaxing there, letting down, chewing. Time for him to go outside and relax for the evening. 